Hello Pisces, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly love reading and everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Pisces, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. The overall energy of your love situation this week, we have the Page of Swords in the reverse. Your energy showing up as the Chariot. And the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with, they're showing up as this Ace of Cups. I think there's a lot that's moving forward for you, Pisces. Okay, with this chariot energy, I feel like you guys have started to move on from a past situation. I think you just have a lot that's going for you. You have a lot that you're working towards, moving towards. It does feel very positive. I feel like overall you're in a very positive space and you're you're moving in a very positive direction. Now, I feel like somebody here could be presenting you with some kind of an offer here. You could be receiving some kind of call or message from somebody. And... I feel like they're wanting a new opportunity in love. They're wanting to like re-enter your life here. I'm really drawn to the dove that's on here as well. They could be wanting to make peace. It could almost be like a peace offering. Somebody could be wanting to make up with you here. But I feel like you're very skeptical. Okay, I do. I feel like you're very skeptical about this person or what they're saying or their offer. Especially because I feel like you guys are in such a good place and you're moving in such a good direction. And maybe this person or situation hasn't been the best for you in the past. So we're going to take a look. We're going to see what the challenge between the two of you is. We're going to look at their feelings, their intentions, their next actions, and a potential outcome. The challenge between the two of you is the magician. So I feel like this is kind of two-part here, Pisces, because I feel like you guys are asking yourself, like, is this still what I want? You know, or is this in alignment with where I'm, who I'm trying to be and where I'm trying to go? You know, does this offer here this person really align with that anymore maybe at one time they didn't now i feel like you're starting to move forward and you're asking you're in a much different space a much different energy i think you're asking yourself if this is still in alignment with that is this still what i want and desire for some of you guys it may not i also feel like you may not be sure if somebody is you know very genuine when this comes up in the challenge position it does kind of feel like it's in the reverse and to me, that can be very tricksy or manipulative. You could feel like somebody's playing on your emotions or, you know, maybe they have just been a little bit manipulative in the past. So their feelings towards you, we have the Five of Swords. I don't like it when those come out together. Uh, for me, I do not really care for the Five of Swords with the Magician in the Reverse energy. Because the Five of Swords can also be somebody who's kind of manipulative. It's somebody who's willing to get what they want by any means, okay? And with that magician in the reverse, you know, that combination can be very tricksy, very manipulative here. And I feel like that's why you're so skeptical about somebody. So you have this Five of Swords energy. Now, I do feel like the Five of Swords can talk about... Uh, sometimes I see it as like reassessing, reassessing a situation, kind of looking back at somebody, your choices, and seeing if it was really what you wanted, right? He has won the battle, but he lost his friends in doing so. He could be kind of looking back at his choice and asking himself if it was worth it here. And this person could be in that energy. Maybe they are kind of looking back at what they've lost and they're trying to figure out if it was worth it. You have the world card here for their intentions. To me, that definitely feels like putting one chapter behind you guys and beginning a new one. But I almost feel like they're wanting a clean slate. It's it's what it feels like. They're not wanting to work on the things that happen so you guys can, you know, level up or work through it. It's just like, let's forget about that and start brand new. They have the Three of Swords here for their next action. And for the potential outcome, we have the Six of Wands. So I do feel like somebody's going to be giving you a lot of attention here. I do feel like they want something to work. I feel like they're pretty confident as well. And maybe that's because in the past you have allowed this person back into your life. That I don't almost feel like they're very worried that you won't this time. And now Three of Swords can talk about forgiveness as well. Um, 
And this also can be a card of acceptance. You know, they may just feel like you will automatically accept them back into your life because of who they are to you. Um, and I would be careful of that. Now, this is not going to be for all of you. This may be for just like one of you, but the Empress is sticking up here. And with this energy, I am kind of feeling that for at least one of you, this could be about your mother and not about a lover. This could be a mother energy, okay? A mother, a grandmother, a sister, something like that, feminine energy. But I am feeling mother for some of you, okay? It does kind of feel like that could be the message. Now, for everybody else here, this person feels almost like it's a given that you're going to. Maybe that's because you guys have a big forgiving heart and you have forgiven them in the past that they're automatically just assuming that you're going to forgive them this time or that you're going to just accept that and you're going to let them back in. They're feeling very confident about that. I don't really care for that. And honestly, I don't feel like you... Um, I feel like you see this person for who they are. I do, Pisces, because I feel like you're moving forward in such a positive direction and I don't think that you're willing to allow this energy that hasn't been good for you back into your life. Now, that doesn't mean that you won't let them back in at all for some of you guys, um, but it does look like at least, at the very least, with very high boundaries because you're continuing to move forward in a very positive direction. Um, so I think you are skeptical about somebody and I think you have the right to be here. So I would definitely be careful with this energy moving forward, okay? But that is what I have for you. I hope that this helps in some way. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you soon.